In this problem, I will work out the capacitance of the earth. The cow will be similar, so I'll just do the earth. Um, and we will assume, of course, that uh, the earth is a spherical capacitor. Uh, we know what the radius is, and uh, we will assume that uh, the uh, surface of the earth is the inner shell. We're going to basically be considering a spherical uh, capacitor where the inner shell is the surface of the earth and uh, the charge is distributed on that surface by an amount Q whatever that Q is and the outer surface of the shell will be at infinity so it's uh, like an infinite universe an infinite sphere so that we can take our reference voltage to be there at infinity uh, which would be zero at infinity of course um, it's safe to consider that for the sphere because the charge does not extend like the cylinder from minus infinity to infinity where our reference has to be chosen otherwise in the case of a cylinder or a coaxial capacitor but in this case since we have a spherical surface it's safe to consider our reference to be an infinite to a sphere of an infinite radius at infinity where the potential is going to be uh, zero there okay and uh, the way we will uh, find this out is through uh, we're gonna find the electric field right from the electric field you could figure out what the potential is and uh, from the relationship between the potential with the charge you'll be able to take the ratio of q over v which would be your uh, which would be your capacitance is basically how this is gonna work out okay so here is a model with on what we are looking at we have let's say the earth here or let's or let's just say that this is the uh, the infinite radius and this is the earth in green okay it's concentric of course or actually why don't we make the red one the earth and this is the uh, this is infinity so this would be the radius of the earth R okay and let's say we have some charge Q here on the surface of the earth okay uh, right Uh, first, I'm going to use Gauss's law to approximate the electric field. So I'm going to trap a... Uh, A Gaussian surface here at R okay and then I'll evaluate it at the radius of the earth so E da equals Q enclosed over epsilon okay since E is perpendicular to the surface it's rad radially outwards and da is as well this integral just becomes EA which is 4 pi r squared equals I'm trapping Q over epsilon and so E on at the surface small r equal capital R so E at the surface will be Q over 4 pi r squared in the radial direction Okay, Let, let's actually leave it on the Gaussian surface, small r, and we, we will evaluate r at the end. So this is the electric field in a Gaussian surface surrounding the Earth. Okay, so I will figure out the potential now, so I can find the capacitance. So V, integral of E dr, since dl is dr, from the reference is infinity uh, all the way down to <coughs> the radius of the earth okay so this is Q over 
for pi oh I forgot an epsilon here. Four pi epsilon, and then I have one over r squared dr from infinity to capital R. Okay, so oh, and there's a minus sign here, of course. So v is equal to uh, this becomes q over four pi epsilon r because the integral of one over r squared is minus one over r, but I have a negative sign, so that takes care of the negative sign I have. Okay, so this is gonna be q over four pi epsilon r minus q over infinity which is zero so v at the surface of the earth at r is equal to q over 4 pi epsilon r and from here i could f take the ratio to find the capacitance because the capacitance is just C is equal to Q over V so C would equal uh, Q 1 over 4 pi epsilon R right. uh, wait did I flip this? no uh, Q, uh, no, sorry, yeah, I flipped this. 4 pi epsilon r. Alright, because I'm gonna bring the v here and this goes up, so 4 pi epsilon times the radius of the earth. Okay, so this is the capacitance, and uh, if we plug the numbers in, we have. Uh, 4 pi times 8.854 times 10 to the minus 12 for epsilon and the radius of the earth is 6,000 okay so this is 4 pi 4 pi 8.854 uh, the no one note closed on me I apologize 10 to the minus 12 that's for epsilon and the radius of the earth is 6378 kilometers so I multiply this by 10 to the 3 to make it in meters and if I do the calculation here we will get 7.1 times 10 to the minus 4 farads Okay, so this is in numbers. Okay, and now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna estimate, uh, I'm gonna go directly to part C, because part B is really straightforward. Uh, I wanna figure out the total uh, stored energy in this earthly capacitor, okay? So, uh, so I'm going directly to C here. Okay, and uh, for that, I'm gonna use the work is equal to epsilon over two integral of E squared d tau on V. Okay, on the entire volume of all space. This is supposed to be all space. This is the way this formula was derived. I have another recording where I kind of elaborate on this formula and derive it if you're interested look it up but for now i'm just gonna go ahead and use it so e is the electric field so that means i have to find the electric field okay and uh, which i sort of already did i have e here it's q over 4 pi epsilon r squared and notice that we are told at the surface of the earth that e field has a magnitude of 100 volts per meter that's a boundary condition in order to figure out what the charge is because the charge remains to be uh, uh, seen so I can find out um, what E is right 
So uh, so E is uh, Q over four pi epsilon r squared, and at the radius of the Earth, this becomes r squared. Okay. And so I could find Q to be 4 pi epsilon r squared times E. We're talking magnitudes here. Okay, so this is the entire uh, charge trapped on the surface of the Earth. So this is 4 pi times 8.854. times the radius 6378 times 10 to the 3 squared and uh, the magnitude of E was uh, 100 volts per meter so times 100 okay so Q will equal Uh, four five two six zero oh, four coulombs. Okay, uh, so now let me go and integrate the electric field. So uh, back to the energy W. So this is going to be a triple integral because it's over all the volume. Uh, one or Q okay I'll plug in the numbers at the end 4 pi epsilon r squared right and the integral in spherical coordinates d tau in spherical coordinates is uh, r squared times sine theta dr d theta d phi r is going from uh, the radius all the way to infinity right so this is uh, six thousand three hundred and oops let me let me do the inner integral to be the radius three seven eight times ten to the three Uh, oops, wait, I have to square this, don't I? That this works. is squared. And this is squared. Yeah. Do you get the picture? Okay, I forgot here epsilon over 2. I apologize. Okay, the uh, so I'm integrating from six three seven eight ten to the three to infinity. Oh, and by the way, the reason I'm doing this because remember, from zero uh, to six three seven eight, there is no charge here. So if 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 I were to consider a Gaussian surface here, there wouldn't be an electric field. So that electric field goes to zero. That's why my integral only have to extend from where I have charge to infinity from the inner surface of the conductor to the outer surface of the conductor which is, which is at infinity there's no charge uh, inside anywhere other than the surface of the earth and therefore that integral does not contribute and it will be zero so that's why this integral picks up from where there, there is charge from the radius from 6, 3, 7, 8, 10 to the 3 meters to infinity okay um, and uh, theta goes from uh, let me go back to the color uh, theta goes from 0 to pi and phi goes from 0 to 2 pi and so now we have um, uh, this is going to be 1 over uh, 8 pi because 2 times 4 8 1 epsilon will cancel out and I'll be left with 1 epsilon oh wait this is 32 pi squared because we're squaring it so so this is 16 times 232 pi squared uh, epsilon naught 
and uh, I would have uh, here r to the 4 so I'd have 1 over r squared left dr from 6 3 7 8 0 0 0 to infinity sine theta d theta going from 0 to pi and d phi going from 0 to 2 pi okay uh, so clearly this is gonna get me this is a simple integral minus cosine which will get us 2 and this is a 2 pi and this will be minus 1 over r from 6 3 7 8 0 0 0 to infinity and here I have 1 over 32 pi squared epsilon uh, this is the energy okay so then let's see what we get here uh, at infinity this is 0 so this is gonna get me 32 pi squared epsilon uh, 1 over infinity is 0 minus minus this becomes a plus 1 over 6 3 7 8 0 0 0 times 4 pi so 1 pi cancels out and 4 with 32 this becomes an 8 okay and so if we plug the numbers in oh I forgot the Q didn't I uh, I apologize there's a Q squared here Q squared here which I found and uh, this q squared is turned out to be by calculation it wasn't given i've seen this version of the problem where uh, you are given q so you just plug it in here i had to find it from the boundary condition of the electric field at the surface of the earth so i had to employ that to find q so this is four five two six zero four so this is all or so this is four five uh, 2604 2604 and this is squared because the electric field is squared okay plugging all this in uh, I get uh, 1.44 times 10 to the 14 joule joules so the energy is uh, 1.44 times 10 to the 14 joules this is the amount of energy stored in that field uh, did I replace Q squared I just want to make sure it's everywhere in my expression yes it is 